All month long, KXAN Team Evening and KXAN Team Morning have been competing in the Friends Giving Challenge. This yearly event raises money for the Central Texas Food Bank. And this afternoon, joining us to give us some insight about this contest is President and CEO of the Texas Central Texas Food Bank, Sari Vatsky. Sari, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me. So there is only one day left of the Friendsgiving Challenge, and we hope people will want to contribute to that. But so far, we've raised thousands upon thousands of dollars for your organization. How helpful will those donations be to the food bank? They are incredibly helpful, and we are so grateful to you for hosting this, as well as the viewers who have donated. We are spending over $1.1 million right now to purchase food on top of the 30,000 turkeys that we've purchased to help distribute to our 21 counties. So these funds are critical in hearing families are fed this whole day. Hmm. Well, it's so nice to hear that it goes such a long way with those donations, but how does this year's challenge stack up with the years prior? Well, from my understanding, last year did about $20,000 above goal. And so mm -hmm. we are hoping that this year we can meet that same uh, level of support, if not beat it. Uh, we know that the viewers are committed to their community. And so this is a huge call upon them for their last minute giving uh, to ensure that we can feed the more than 530,000 people in our 21 counties. And we're so thankful for everybody out there who's heeded this call too, for sure. How are things looking now compared to five years ago before the pandemic and really those that came afterward? You know, surprisingly, we are actually seeing numbers higher than the pandemic. Hmm. At the peak of the pandemic, we were serving about 60,000 people a week, and now we are serving over 90,000 individuals each week. Uh, the need has increased, the cost uh, of living has increased, and we are not immune from that. So every little bit helps. Of course, it is amazing that some of our viewers out there have given to this particular challenge that will ultimately benefit your organization. But what would you suggest are some ways to get and stay involved with the food bank even beyond this holiday season? Well, we are always in need of volunteers, particularly in January and February when the big surge from the holiday ends. And always, even though the holidays are a bigger time of need, we are always in need of funds. So donating year round can be helpful, um, but really keep in mind that volunteering in January and February during the quieter months is a great way to help. Well, Sari Vatsky with the Central Texas Food Bank. We appreciate you joining us and for uh, cooperating with us to have this Friendsgiving Challenge so that we can benefit you all and carry on your good work. Thank you again for being with us and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for having us. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, and if you would like to donate, here's the information you need to know for the Friendsgiving Challenge. Team Evenings has officially surpassed its target of $75,000 raised thanks to more than 700 generous viewers out there. Now, we should say that meter Chief Meteorologist Nick Bannon actually sent me a text earlier and said, hey, point out that Team Mornings is coming close to the Team Evening total, so we want to just put that out there. Contribute to whoever you would like. All the proceeds, though, will go toward uh, the Central Texas Food Bank, as we mentioned. And although we have hit our goal, every extra dollar counts towards more meals for our neighbors in need. So if you want to donate, visit kxan.com slash friendsgiving.